Yo, hi Tommy C from Keep Blogging Tascom. So today, I will show you how to set up the template of Smart Panel on your website. Here you can disable home page. For example, let's you can disable as well the sign up page if you do not want to add any users anymore. Uh, you can here uh, add the explanation of the server's symbol. Uh, here you can display the server list without uh, log in or register right away. People, uh, users do not have to log in or sign up to your website. Here we can display news and announcements features. Here you can display AP tab in header and I will explain this feature later which is the one of the greatest features on this template. Uh, you can you can display required Skype ID fi file in sign up page. I do not recommend to activate this one. And here you can display Google Recapture code. And in order to add it, go to Recapture on Google. And select this one here. Click on Add. Give it any name. Geek blogger at the website's domain. Click on accept. Click on submit. Then copy site key here. And click on save so now whenever someone wants to sign up for example let's click here on sign up you can see the capture code right here in currency settings you can modify the currency but I advise you to leave the settings as default in others here, you, if you want to activate HTTPS, but you need to activate it first on your host. If you have bought the hosting through a hostinger and choose the recommended plan, you will get HTTPS as default on your website. So here we got we have SSL certificate. Click on install and SSL is being installed for free thanks to Hostinger. So now you can see the lock icon here to prove that HT. TPS is installed successfully. Here in on deed code, you can put uh, the Google Analytics or Facebook pixel code, etc., uh, which is the above or below the head tag. Here for the below the body tag, if you want to use for chat plugin, and you can add your social media links, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want, as well as contact informations. The one that appears here. Uh, so, for example, you can change the copyright as well as the phone number and the email address that I will create later on. And here is it updated right here, the email as well as you can add the number phone and whatever you want. Now into email settings, here you can activate this email settings that I advise you to do so. You have here the email verification for new customer accounts, uh, the email for the new user welcome email, the new user notification email, the payment notification email, the 
ticket notification email send notification to user when admin reply to a ticket i advise you to activate all of this in order to stay informed here from you add the uh, email address you will create here in the name you can write in the uh, name of the website for example let's give and here i advise you to choose the smmtp uh, address or, or the uh, smtp panel so we go back to hosinger go to dashboard click on email account here you choose your domain name so here i have already created some emails admin file at geekblog.xyz so i'm going ahead and create a new email with contact at geekblogging.com and choose a password that you should remember in order to log in then you go to configuration settings and you copy paste this in here so start, start with the SMTP server here you add the SMTP username and SMTP password, which stands for your the email you have created and the password as well. And here in the email template, you can see the email verification for new customer accounts, the new username, welcome email. This says something that you don't want to modify because it is already set so here in payments you should add a payment method for your users to add funds in your website so here in payments you can choose the minimum amount going to in five dollars you leave it on sandbox here and for uh, to activate paypal you click on active then for this transaction fee you can select the transaction percentage and here in paypal id and people client, client secrets we're going to create a new app on paypal so go to paypal developer on on paypal log in with using your paypal account then you make sure to select sandbox and you create an app you give it a name for example you select the app type it, it can be merchants or platform as you want then you click on create app and here you get your client id which you should copy and paste on back on our website as well as the secret key Then you have also Stripe to add this if you want to check out as well as manual payments. For example, you can activate it and this allows users to open a ticket in order to make a payment on your website. And you click on save. So now we have pretty much covered all the settings needed to start your website. Thank you.